Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I apologise that I haven't vlogged in a while, um, but if you saw my last vlog you would have known that I was on holiday and then um, we basically moved house. So it has been a bit of a chaotic time. Um, so today it is Thursday the 15th of February. I landed back from Costa Rica, I landed back home on Friday, like Friday evening. So Friday was basically a write off because uh, yeah, like I said, I got home late. My last flight was delayed. Um, so I ended up getting home late and then literally just showered and went to bed. Um, and then on Saturday, we actually moved house. So it was a lot because obviously I was really tired because of the time difference between Costa Rica and here. Um, also, I basically spent two days traveling to get home, um, so I was just really tired. So yeah, the day after I landed, we moved house. Um, as you guys saw, before I went to Costa Rica, I did quite a bit of packing, and then Michael was on holiday um, as well from work, so he did the rest of the packing whilst I was away. So at least when I got back from holiday, everything was packed up, and then on Saturday, we just had to move everything. Um, it did take... Well, actually, it didn't take long. Like, we were very lucky in the fact that my dad was able to help us. But what I mean is, in terms of distance, it was obviously longer because any time that we've moved, like, we've only ever had to, like, drive 10 minutes, like, not even that, like, 5, 10 minutes to the new place. But with here, it's, like, over an hour's drive. Anyways, on Saturday, we literally got everything into this house, emptied the old flat. Um, this place i was gonna say it looked like a bomb hit it but it still looks like that um because we literally just removed everything from the moving vehicle into here just dumped it literally mainly just in the kitchen and the living room because it was just easiest rather than having to go upstairs so yeah once we've got everything moved into here and emptied the old flat we then headed back to Inverness so like you have to just think like each time this is like over an hour drive so that's what like took up most of the day um because we wanted to clean that flat um but then we realized that we hadn't set up our fridge in this place our fridge and our freezer so we couldn't take any of our old food so when we got to Inverness we were like oh we'll get everything done in this flat today so then we can just hand the keys in but then we realized that we had nowhere to move our food so we we're like oh we'll have to come back on Sunday but we got everything done in the flat apart from like the freezer um like defrosted and emptied and all of that so yeah cleaned the flat then by the time we drove back here it was literally like dinner shower bed and then I was like oh it's fine we've both got Sunday off before we both go back to work the next week um woke up on Sunday and Michael was unwell um so yeah he had like a horrible sickness and like vomiting bug so yeah I felt really bad for him because he was really ill um so yeah then I was literally like oh my gosh we have nothing unpacked like I was so hungry because we hadn't even had the kitchen unpacked I didn't even know where like the toaster was, I don't even think we had any, we literally had no food, so I was like, well, what's, like, there's, there's no point even if I can't find the toaster, so I was like, oh my god, I'm stressed. I was just like, no, the priority is I need to try and get, like, this kitchen done, so that at least it's functioning, <laughs> because I was just thinking, I go back to work the next day, I need, like, utensils and stuff to be able to eat breakfast and I work from home, so I need to be able to make my lunch and my dinner and everything like that, so yeah. In the morning, I've got the kitchen unpacked. Ignore the fact that there is loads of boxes here. I just didn't have anywhere to store these at the moment. But yeah, literally all I did was unpack everything and put everything away, like all of our glasses, plates, bowls. Now the cupboards are all sorted with food and stuff like that. I literally cleaned everything, found all of our supplies and appliances, whatever you call them. Um, yeah, and unpacked that all. So yeah, then by the time I'd done that, it was literally the afternoon. I know it looks like barely anything that I'd done, but it's just like the everything was wrapped in bubble wrap and it takes time to unpack and actually just finding things as well. Like most of the boxes were labeled, but then there was just like, you know, when you just find random bits, like 
Um, so it did take me a while and then I was like, oh, I need to go back to Inverness obviously to do the freezer and stuff because we only had that property for like, um, well, to, until the Monday. So I needed to hand in the keys. So I went back to the old flat again, a, quite a drive, got there, did all the freezer and everything like that. Um, cleaned the oven because that also needed to be done and just made sure everything was fine, handed back in the keys, then drove back home and honestly it was literally evening by that time and I was like oh my gosh I've literally got nothing done, how has this happened? But to be fair it was just a weight off my um, shoulders just to know that everything was done with the old flat, the keys were handed in, like we didn't need to go back to Inverness, like everything was fine there. I forgot to mention that it was also my sister's birthday on that day and I was supposed to, well me and Michael were supposed to be going to dinner with um, like my whole family. We ended up not being able to go because obviously Michael was unwell um, and I also didn't want to go because I'd been like really near Michael and I didn't want to pass anything on to them, especially to my little niece. She always catches everything and yeah, I just didn't want her to be unwell. So I was gutted that I actually missed my sister's birthday, like I didn't see her. So I was really sad about that. So yeah, that was basically all I managed to get done. And then obviously on Monday I was back to work. Um, it's now Thursday. Thursday is my first day off this week. So uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I've literally just been doing little things after work because I've been working like late till like eight. So really the only thing that's kind of unpacked is the kitchen. Um, but yeah, I've done little bits like got the bathroom essentials out but I haven't actually put them away or that because I need to like properly clean the bathroom before I do that. And I made a start last night after work on my wardrobe. So I think I'm going to continue with that just because I was so excited when I came back from Costa Rica. I was like, oh, I cannot wait to be able to like have a wardrobe again because I'd been living out of a backpack for two weeks and then I remembered that we were moving house and I was like oh I don't even have my clothes unpacked so I've literally just been like trying to find clothes in random boxes or bags that have been lying around so yeah I want to finish getting that unpacked sorry that this intro was so rambly but I kind of just wanted to catch you up anyways I had the most amazing time in Costa Rica. It was incredible, the best two weeks of my life. Um, if you didn't know, I basically went to Costa Rica and met a bunch of strangers and we, yeah, traveled to Costa Rica together and did so many cool, fun things. I did film like little clips and I'm gonna put them together and make TikTok vlogs, um, but they probably will not go up. I wouldn't even be surprised if it wasn't till summer or something just because obviously I'm so busy with moving and working and everything like that and I'd rather just like keep my YouTube vlogs like keep vlogging and make them more real time and then just holiday vlogs they can go up on TikTok whenever I really get the chance. Probably once we're more settled here and I have more spare time. Um, but someone did actually message me on Instagram and asked if I could upload them to YouTube as like YouTube shorts. And I actually think that's a really good idea. So once I figure out how to do that, I will also do that. But like I say, it probably won't be for a while. But it's now actually the afternoon. Um, by the time I took Carly out for a walk and then I actually really needed to do a food shop. And because like we live in a small town now, I had to like travel, not too far to be honest. I was actually expecting it to be a lot longer. It was uh, quite a quick drive actually, but still like it's just, I needed to like do like bigger shops because I don't want to be having to go as often, if that makes sense. It's not like where I lived before where I could literally walk to Tesco in five minutes or like drive there in two minutes. So yeah, I did a big food shop, literally came back, it was lunchtime and here we are. Like I'm like, how where does the time go? So we've got the afternoon to try and get some stuff sorted. But honestly, I know you guys are probably going to be like, oh my god, Lucia, stop stressing. I'm actually not stressed now. I was so stressed on Sunday. I think it was just like, I was sad about missing my sister's birthday. I was also so tired after traveling. I was worried about Michael. I was upset just because I hate when anyone's ill. So yeah, there was just a lot going on. And I feel like I was so stressed at the weekend. But um after I got this kitchen unpacked and I actually ate, I was like, oh my gosh, I feel so much better now. So yeah, the house is an absolute tip. I'm not gonna do a house tour right now because you can't even see anything. Like we're literally climbing over boxes. Um, but yeah, I'll just show you it sort of as we go. So yeah, let's go and try and sort out more of the bedroom, like my wardrobe.
course my wardrobe is coming together and I'm so happy about it. It's just going to be so much easier rather than like raking around trying to find things in bags and boxes. I feel like once this is done and then the bathroom, I feel like everything else is more like decorative so you don't really need it. So today I'm just trying to get like the essentials out, the things that you need every single day um, just so it's easier so that I don't have to go raking through all of these different boxes <laughs> trying to find things. I also meant to say the reason that I didn't actually vlog on the day that we moved was because I've only just found my camera, like I only found it this morning and then started charging it which is why I could only start vlogging this afternoon. Um, but yeah, like on the day that we were moving I was like I'm not going to start ripping boxes apart trying to find my camera so I can vlog so I hope you don't mind. My wardrobe is done and I'm so glad about it. So I've like categorised everything into like hoodies, fleeces, knitwear and then on the other side is like t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts, vest, tops or tank tops, whatever you call them. And then up here I've got like thick pyjamas, thinner pyjamas, uh, skirts, trousers, sort of like jeans, more like cargoes actually because I own one pair of jeans and then I think there's like leggings down the bottom there so it's all nice and neat and organised and I'm so happy about it. So this may look tidy but the other side is still not great. Um, last night I also like did some of this cupboard and just put in like my suitcases, like my scrapbooking stuff, board games, camping stuff. I think up there's like photo albums. So yeah, that's sort of like coming along, which is good. So this is currently what our office looks like. We've literally just got the desks and chairs in. And then again, things have just been dumped here. Like this all, I think, belongs to this room. Um, but yeah, it just needs to all go away. Also, for some weird reason, this room is the only room that didn't have a light bulb in it, so it's really dark. Um, and yeah, I was at the shop today and I forgot to get one again. So yeah, just apologies because it's dark. So we're going to do the same thing that we did in our last property, which is I have the wardrobe in the bedroom and then Michael has the wardrobe in the office. So I'm going to find his clothes now, unpack them, hang them all up on hangers, fold all his trousers and pyjamas and stuff and just basically fill this wardrobe so that when he gets home from work he will know where his pyjamas are and then he can go to work tomorrow and know where his uniform is. <laughs> So that is Michael's wardrobe done. I cleaned all the shelves, hoovered the floor inside it and then just put everything in. So up here are like just some of his random bits and pieces and then I've basically coordinated everything. So we've got shirts for work, t-shirts, hoodies, knitwear and then on the other side is suits and like shirts for going out. At the bottom here is just some of his camping stuff and then his musical instruments like his um, different guitars and then yeah you can kind of see there like his guitars on that side and then I have sorted all of his like trousers and pajamas so here's just like his work trousers and just like other kinds of trousers jeans and then pyjamas, like character ones, and then pyjamas are just like plain. I actually feel like I'm getting somewhere today, which is so good. Like, I feel like it's so difficult when you move house and like you're still working. It's just like, you can only get little bits done so you feel like you're not getting anywhere. But then when you have a day off and you manage to like even just get those two wardrobes done, I feel like that's a lot more than I've got done in the last couple of days we've been working. So it's just, yeah, so good. I think I'm going to clean the bathroom next and unpack all of our bathroom stuff because right now 
like for example Michael's just living out of this little like travel bag with all of his essentials and then I've literally got like my toiletry bag that I was traveling with um, and I just took that out of my rucksack and I've just been using that but it would be nice to have all of our stuff unpacked so I think I'm gonna do that now but uh, I'm not gonna time lapse it because I've just realized that like my memory card I'm still using the memory card that I've been using for my GoPro so like I share the memory card between the two devices I need to get another one um, I, and I took my GoPro on holiday to like film when I was like snorkeling and like zip lining and stuff like that and I've just realized that it's literally got three minutes left of recording so I'm not going to do time lapse because that's going to use up all of the space that I have left um, so at some point today I'm going to have to try and move some clips over to my laptop or something so that I can film some more but yeah I will clean the bathroom it's not very exciting for you guys to watch anyways and then I will update you. Okay so apparently all of this fit in our bathroom before so that's interesting I'm not even too sure what most of it is I think a lot of it is like just medicines obviously like I was gonna say shampoos and stuff but we have like one shampoo each I don't know um I have got some makeup in there as well we will see if we can make it fit. We have this mirror which I need to clean and then I'll clean inside the cabinet and I can move the shelves as well, I think, to sort of suit whatever we need to put in there. So we've got that for storage. And then we also have like a little under the sink cupboard as well, um, which I can fill. So hopefully I can make it fit. <laughs> Look at the colour of my face after cleaning the bathroom. It's just because it's so hot. I should have taken my hoodie off, I never even thought. But yeah, I'm so warm after cleaning the bathroom, but I'm so glad it's done. It looks really nice, and it's the first room that's actually done done. Like, the kitchen is unpacked, but we've still got so many other boxes in there from like other rooms that it doesn't look like it's done. But this, oh, it's so nice to see a room that actually looks like a room rather than just having boxes everywhere and just yeah it's just so nice the sink is literally glistening i have filled this um so i'll show you guys what i did with it so on the top shelf i have all of our like medicines and tablets and things like that the middle shelf is like michael's sort of like essential things that he uses every day bottom shelf is my essential things i use every day like moisturizer deodorant body spray cover stick um lip balms things like that so yeah that is all done and then under the sink here i've also filled all of this um michael just has half a shelf because he literally has that many things of course i always have more stuff than him so that's like my bags of like makeup hair stuff and then yeah that's like michael's body wash moisturizers things like that and then down here literally most of my stuff is just sun cream i tend to buy loads of sun cream when i'm going on holiday and then i never use it all so i've literally got a row of sun cream uh just like body lotions things like that hand lotions hand cream face sun cream um just like tampons pads uh shampoo little cotton buds and then at the back is another bag of makeup but yeah that is all done which i'm so glad about the bath is clean guys i have a bath i'm so excited about this if you guys have been watching my vlogs for a while you will know that our previous property we only had a shower and i missed having a bath so much and i'm so happy to have a bath again like i am so excited and it's a really nice sized bath as well so that's all clean uh we got that shower curtain the other day because we realized that we needed one um yeah everything's just clean and then over here we have I quite like that we have this bit above the toilet so I've just got our cam sign and then just a couple of bits on the windowsill there. I've popped our bin out and then our toilet brush <laughs> and then we have a heated towel rail. So yeah, that is the bathroom all done. I also just sorted out all of our underwear so yeah, all of these drawers are now full and it'll be so good to be able to access all of this like I said without 
having to rake in boxes. Also, yesterday was Valentine's Day um, and Michael got me this really cute dog. How adorable is this? And it says, love you. This is the card that I got for Michael and then he got me this one here, which is so cute. He also surprised me with like, um, in April, I think it is, we're going on a little like staycation in Scotland, which is so nice because we actually haven't spent quality time together in so long. So that will be so fun. I'm really looking forward to that. And yeah, this is just adorable. It was such a nice surprise. So Harley and I are just out for a walk. I didn't actually realize how dark it was. Um, and I don't really know this area very well. So I probably shouldn't have chose today to like explore. Well, this time, like at this time, cause it's very dark. I also can't see where I'm going cause I've got my torch shining in my face. So I've stopped walking. Um, but yeah, it's actually not raining this evening. So I thought we would explore a bit further. Um, we're at the beach because yes, we do live by the beach now, which is so cool. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys more when I get back. I'm just gonna end this vlog here because I think it's around like half nine in the evening now. I don't know where the day has gone. I feel like to you guys it'll probably look like I haven't done much, but I feel like the day just goes by so quickly, like especially like walking Harley and stuff like that. I just feel like once I've done, like once I've walked him a couple of times and then I had to do the food shop, obviously I feel like there was no time left of the day. But I'm feeling really positive. I'm so happy with the amount that I got done today. It's just nice to have like a functioning bathroom. And yeah, I feel like the rest is sort of not necessities. Um, there's nothing that I'm going to be raking around in boxes for. So yeah, I'm feeling really good and I'm really happy. Like this house weirdly just felt like home from the beginning. It's so crazy how like some places can feel like that. And it's really weird considering like I've moved out of my, um, like the place that I was born and I grew up in and the only place I've ever lived my whole life. I thought it would take me time to get used to, but I honestly love the area. I love the location. I love the house. Um, we also have a garden as well, which is amazing. It needs a lot of like TLC, um, but it's usable just now because we're not really going to be using it much because it's so cold. Um, but hopefully, like our aim is just to get the house sorted and then hopefully when the better weather comes like we'll be ready to then sort the garden and just get it looking nice um because it has got potential it just needs a bit of work done um but yeah like I said I'm just so happy like it's it feels so different to live in a house compared to a flat like I just love it so much it actually feels like a home and yeah I just love it I cannot wait to get everything just sorted and for it to like feel cozy and stuff like once we get the living room sorted and we actually have unboxed the TV and stuff like that we haven't even done that yet um and like I'm able to have like cozy nights in again I'm so excited for that so yeah I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog I am obviously super busy right now with the house move um but I still want to keep you guys updated and vlog just whatever I can so even if it's just little bits here and there I hope you don't mind um but yeah thank you so much for watching and I hope you're all well and I will see you again very very soon for another vlog bye guys Thank you.